hello guys in one of my videos i mentioned this machine it is the universal lift machine one of the most essential machines on board our ship in our engine room workshop it is used for a variety of jobs in this video i want to show you how it is being operated and how it is used to carry out a particular tax it's for turning operation fabrication of uh, parts different parts spare parts and whatever whatever i want to fabricate as long as the machine, the series is uh, used to take such a uh, carry out such operation, then you can do it on the machine. But basically, turning operation, I'll just explain turning operation. I said, that's exactly what I'm doing here now. I'm turning a flange, removing the old weld so that I'll renew, I'll reuse the flange for a new pipe. So, basically, to turn on this uh, machine, the uh, the uh, the lid, there's a switch at the back. This is the on and off switch. I'll turn it on and turn it off here. So right now it's on. And then you don't have a safety cover. This is the safety cover. Without the safety cover being engaged, the machine will not turn off. Because as you can see, as it is like this now, if I push on the on green button here, see nothing is happening. See, nothing is happening. But if I engage the safety cover, now you hear the sound of the lift machine, it's on already. And then if I put it on, if I press the green button to start it, it comes on. Why? Because the safety cover is on. This one is just to protect you. Like you can see your fingers from the rotating part. So that I don't get, your finger is not caught in the rotating part and all that and it gets you injured. Even as it is like this now, if you want to try the safety of this, pick it up and see, the machine stops immediately. And then when you put it on, find it on again and start. So this is safety cover, which is very, very good. Now, this is the shock. This is the chalk for the machine. We have three jaw, four jaw, and it's used to hold the workpiece on the machine. So that when it's turning, it's in place. And this is the two posts. This is the two posts, it holds the cutting tool. This is the cutting tool. And this is called the saddle. It carries the, 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 the cutting tool and its posts. This one now, you see here is the bed. The late machine bed. This is the head, the head stock of the late machine. The whole of this is the head stock. And that that you see there, this is the tail stock. Tail stock of the lift machine. So, uh, basically the turning operation, once you engage, put on the machine, Bring your two posts, cutting two close. I'll just see, I'm just taking a little bit because I've already got into where I'm supposed to be. I just want to take off a little piece so that you understand, you see how it's working. Yeah. This one is also a protective device, there to protect the ship from getting to you. Okay? That's the cutting operation. This is manual. It has automatic. But we'll leave that for another day. This is all the cutting, this is the manual operation. That's your thing.
Is that the food break? I should this a food break. That's the magic system. Offset. Give me the magic. Also, you can stop from here. So now I have three stops. One, two, three. This is the lever for the automatic movement. And let me just show you. This is back and forth. They are also cognitive force. Makes the job easier. Ah, just this also is control lever. See, so control the chop. The different direction, forward, up. This one I can select the speeds. The speed for the machine. High, low, neutral, and then selection of a different device speed. Yeah. Okay, so by the time you finish housekeeping, when you finish your operation on this machine, housekeeping, a good practice is to clean the machine of all the chips and all that to keep you ready for the next use. 